Hey, what's going up, y'all? What's going on? This is Ramblin' Williams, and today is Saturday. I'm gonna be doing my Saturday vlog. Today's project. You know, first off, I want to say, man, I'm down here in Florida, as y'all already know, and uh, very nice weather. Loving it. <laughs> very nice. The cloud, it ain't too cloudy. It's a good day for this project. You know, because not too much sun. It's always good, you know? Look, it's a plank, boss. Boy, that one there, boy, that one there is small. They get some big ones over here, some really big ones. You know, the big 747s, they fly right up here about 200 feet or 20 yards probably. 150 yards. But anyhow, back to what I was saying. Today's project is going to be uh, working on my truck. You know? So it's going to be a little interesting. Now, I need to do some brakes on this truck and the ball joints. The ball joints are shot. I don't know if it's the lower ball joints, the upper ball joints. But anyways, I'm going to change them all. The upper and lower on both sides, driver and passenger side. I'm not gonna do that today. Today, I'm just gonna do the drum brakes, you know, the, the brake shoes, and I'm gonna change the drums because the drums are shot and I think they're warped. You know, I'm gonna show y'all why I think they're warped. You know, it's a trick to do this. So, yeah. So, let me show you some parts here that I got. These parts I'm gonna show you, I got from Rock Auto. And Rock Auto is the shit. You know, if you need some auto parts or whatever, and I suggest Rock Auto, man, because the auto parts stores, they um, a lot more expensive than Rock Auto. That's, you know, if y'all don't know that, well, that I'm telling y'all. I got these parts here. If I went to the auto parts store, I would have paid probably double than what I got them for. You know, so. I think I got half price by going through Rock Auto. You know what I'm saying? House. All right, so let me show you the parts that I got, and then I'm going to show you the truck that I'm working on, which is the secret right now, I guess. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just rambling on. But anyways, all right, let me show you these parts right here. Come on over here with me. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to tell y'all. Yeah, I already put a dip in. Sorry, y'all. In the next clip, I will do a dip with y'all. All right? Yeah? Deal? All right, deal. All right. Oh, shit, look what we got here. What is this? Oh, that came with it? Hmm. Look at that there, that's uh, y'all know what that is, you can read. Let me see if I can get a better shot at it. Anyhow, there you go, that's uh, Stoker's long cut straight. No, that didn't come from Rock Auto, buddy. But, I'm gonna tell you what, I like the Stoker's, I've been doing it by a couple, uh, couple days now, and I really like it. But, I'll talk more about that here in a few. I'll put that to the side. Right here we got my... I got some uh, AC Delco wheel cylinders. Because one wheel cylinder on my truck is shot. So I'm going to change both of them. I'm going to do that here today. Got two. Then these are the ball joints I got. Upper ball joints and lower ball joints. These are Moog or Moog or however you say it. I heard that they're the best. Well, I don't know about the best, but I heard they're really good. I know NASCAR uses them, so they gotta be good. I got four of those, lower, upper, and lower. Uh, upper, lower, for both sides, passenger and driver's side. Now let's talk about this shit here. Oh shit! 
Oh, it goes to that big song, bitch. Huh? Whoa, look at that thing. Looks like it's fixing to crash. Looks like it's fixing to crash somewhere. Man, hey, y'all, man. You gotta listen here. I don't know about this uh, vlogging. I've never done this before. I ain't not too good doing video. I hope I'm getting good shots here. But anyway, as time goes on, I'll get better at it. You know? Practice makes perfect, as they say. And I truly believe in that. So I got this stokers here. I've been doing that shit for about two, three days now. Before this, I was doing uh, Copenhagen straight, long cut straight, and um, this tastes a lot like the Copenhagen straight. The difference I find is the cut. It's a more of a longer cut, which I like a lot because it doesn't get all, you know, I don't get floaters and shit. It just stays there nice and perfectly, you know, so, yeah. Y'all got to try that Stokers. Oh, oh shit. Here goes another one. Ah. No! No! Four people on that plane. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me go show y'all what I'm working with here. All right? Be right back. Actually, I ain't gonna go nowhere. I'm gonna walk with y'all over here. That's my pool. It's nice and green. Oh, yeah, my yard looks like shit. I got another project over here, too, that I'm gonna be doing with y'all here in the future. Once I get my shit straight. Let me turn around. Yeah. Oh shit! Nope, nope. That's a secret. My yard looks like shit. Oh well, it happens. Be doing some of them projects too on this vlog on Saturday. Clean up this damn yard. I got some shit for y'all. All right, so here we go. This is the old, uh, this is old Jimmy. All beat up. Them rims right there are gonna be changed. I got some rims in my trunk. In the trunk back there, I got some rims and we got another plane. We got another plane. Nope, I don't wanna show y'all all that. But yeah, so this is her or him actually. This is old Jimmy Jam. Let me come over here and get a better view. That's old Jimmy. Them ribs are coming off. All right, well, I'm gonna be doing the rear drums here and I'll see y'all on here in a second. Fucking planes. All right, y'all, what's up? I'm back. I took off these tires. Now I'm getting ready to put the, take off the brake pads or brake shoes. But first, I want to do dip with y'all. Old stokers, like I was telling you earlier. Mm hmm mm hmm Let's pack this one. Man, I hope y'all can see me good. Anyway, so, oh. Let's get this fat hog leg up in here. There you go. Look at that long cut. That's yours. Mm-hmm. Good shit right there. Anyways, let me show you what I got going on here. I'm going to show y'all what I was talking about earlier with the drums and how I think they're warped. You know, I'm going to show y'all that there and then I got to bleed the brakes and I'm going to show you the stuff I'm going to use to do that because I'm by myself. I ain't got nobody to help me. I got this cool uh, kit here that helps out. Alright, so let me show you what's up. Let me 
move this thing from over here. All right, well, here goes, here goes my crank drums. Airplane. Ooh, yeah, you gotta love it. But look at this shit here. Hold on a second. Yeah, look at this shit here. That's the drive. That's the driver's side shoes on the drums here on the rear. Look at this shit here. Sexy. Ain't that sexy, mofo? Yeah, those need to be done. Don't you think? All right, so I'm gonna put that shit back back over there and hold it. And then this is the wheel cylinders that's gotta be changed. This one here is blown. You know, you can see all the freaking oil here. You can't really see as much now as before, but I think it's time to do that. All right, so there goes that there. And here goes the old drum here. I'm gonna show you guys how I figured out it was warped, you know. I'm not sure if this is how it really goes, but I'll just do like this here. Put that up there. If you get any play like a seesaw in there, you see over here, get all that gap. Well, maybe it ain't, it was doing it before. But you see all that? It ain't supposed to do all that. Now I'll put it over here in the new drum I got. And you see now, it's in there nice and flush and it doesn't move at all. No seesaw effect. So these are like semi-warped, I guess. And anyways, I thought I'd show you all that. Now moving on, here goes my, all my shoes, brake shoes with my wheel cylinder there. I think it's about time to spit. All right, now we got this over here. This is a little kit. Let me get a better position here. It's a little kit here. I use it's a vacuum thing and this goes on to the bleeder this hose and it bleeds it into this container here this is the lid and these are all the adapters and shit the hose clips up onto here and the one end goes on this end and then the other end goes on this and then you bleed it bleeds out into here so I don't know. This is the vacuum thing. It has pressure gauge on it. Works pretty damn good. That way you ain't got to bleed the brakes. You're, you know, you got to bleed the brake, but you don't have to pump and do all that shit. You know, you fill up the wheel, uh, the master cylinder thing there and uh, fill it up, make sure it's full of fluid. And then you hook all this up to the bleeder. You pump and it starts sucking and you'll see all the dirty old stuff going through there into the container when you start seeing the you know new fluid come in then that's when you know it's good and it keeps all the air bubbles it gets all the air bubbles out and all that shit all right so i'm gonna start on the passenger rear first and i'm gonna come over on the driver's side and do that side so that's what's up with that um all right well let me get her done and uh i'll see y'all here in a second you heard All right, y'all, I just got through finishing uh, putting them brakes on there and everything. Boy, it gave me a hard fucking time. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, sorry about the earlier clip. You know, I, my face was all dark and shit. I'm just going to leave it in there. You know, um, the sun done came out, so hopefully it's, uh, it's a little bit better, you know, viewing. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching and everything, you know. Um... Let me just show you real quick the brakes and shit. All right. There you are, all done, nice and clean. So fresh, so clean. Yep. 
Got my new drum here I'm going to put on there right now. Then I'm going to bleed the brakes. Then I'm going to bleed the brakes and everything. Um, yeah, so that's it, man. That's all I got, man. Hey, check out my next vlog. Um, I'm going to have my, my rims. I'm going to put the tires on them. I'm going to have the rims put on here. Besides these ones here, I don't like these ones, see? Plus, they don't fit right, you know? The toe and all that shit. Not the toe, but the... Uh, uh, the offset that's what I meant to say <laughs> All right, so don't forget to subscribe like and comment, you know what I'm saying And I'll see y'all later They redneck now you hear? Mm -hmm.